Hey guys, how are you going? It's your main man, Yasin. And today, I'm gonna teach you when you should be focused on learning and when you should be focused on acting. Often we get these two things confused and we focus in the wrong area and we end up wasting a shit ton of time. So if you wanna save yourself some time, then stay tuned for this video. And if you want more content just like this, if you wanna live a life of greatness, then subscribe because I don't want you to miss the great things that are gonna happen on this channel. All right, let's get straight in to the video. Okay, so I'm gonna start with a little story from my past. When I was younger, all I did was learn, right? I thought learning came before acting, and so I would learn, 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 learn with the intention of moving to action. But really what would happen was I would get stuck in this perpetual cycle of learning. And I would realize that there was always more to learn. There was always something new that I could add to my repertoire of knowledge. And so I would try and learn that and I would lose sight of the end goal. And ultimately that's what you need to know is what's the end goal. Let's take for example, photography or Photoshop. Let's say you want to learn how to edit photos. Then instead of trying to learn every single photography technique or photo editing technique that there is in existence, what you should do instead is learn what you need to learn to edit a specific photo or to take a specific photo. And then once you have that knowledge, then you can add on a bit more. What we really want is to learn things that we can act on, right? So learn a bit, act on it, learn a bit, act on it. You have to have these two things in symbiosis, right? We have to constantly be moving from one to the other, back and forth. And that is how we make the things that we learn stick, right? If all we do is learn, our brains go, oh, we're learning all these things, but we don't actually apply them ever. So uh, let's fuck them out of the brain. We don't need those, no use. And so you'll learn a bunch of shit and then forget it all. And I used to do this. I would constantly be reading things and learning things, and yet nothing would actually stick because I hadn't applied the knowledge that I was learning, right? So apply the knowledge and it'll stick. Your brain will go, oh, I need this information because it's helping me act in the world, right? I need this information because it's a tool that we are using to get better and to become more successful. So I need to remember this. So decide what it is that you want to learn based on what it is that you want to act upon, right? I know so many guys that watch RSD video after RSD video trying to learn how to attract women and they never go out into the real world and act on the information that they learn. And so they're constantly forgetting the information and then having to relearn it and then forgetting it and then having to relearn it. Whereas if they just went out into the real world and acted and spoke to some women, not only would the information that they are learning stick, they would actually have some success and it would be far more enjoyable. This perpetual cycle of learning is particularly toxic and particularly pertinent when we're talking about things that encroach on our fears, like talking to girls, like public speaking, like starting a business. If we feel fear around these subjects, then we will procrastinate even more and think that, oh, in order to start a business, I have to get a logo and then I have to do this and get a website and then get my Instagram to 10,000 followers. And, you know, we're doing all of these things and we're learning these things when what really matters is the 10 or 20% over here, the Pareto principle, you can look into that. But ultimately, there is a very small percentage of things that we need to know in order to successfully act in the way that we want to act. There's so much knowledge out there, we cannot learn it all, and we don't need to learn it all. So we need to be discerning, and the only way to do that is to have an end goal. What is it you want to learn, and why do you want to learn it? What are you trying to achieve in the outside world? And let's say there is nothing specific. Let's say you want to learn to program so you can get a job as a programmer in two or three years, right? You have an end goal there, but it's not a good end goal because it's too vague, right? So what we want to do is we want to make it tangible and we want to make it immediate. So what is something that we can create right now that will mean we have to learn a bunch of skills in order to get there? So for example, you could replicate a dating app or replicate a weather app or replicate WhatsApp or any of these apps, you can replicate them. And by doing that, you're gonna to have to learn a bunch of skills that you wouldn't have known otherwise. You're gonna to have to learn a bunch of things that you didn't know otherwise. And now that information is gonna stick because it has to, because your brain realizes it's important to you in the real world. So start creating projects and end goals that are very specific. I need to do this, or I want to create this, I want to act in this way, 
and then work backward. What do I need to know in order to be able to act in this way and then go and do that, right? So we want to baby step this thing. Okay, so let's say you want to become fit and healthy and you want to get a reasonably attractive body. Then there's an almost endless supply of things you can learn and should learn if you want to get into the 1% of fittest people in the world. But in order to get started, you need very little knowledge, right? You need to know some fundamental movements that will build the most strength and the most muscle quickly and efficiently. And then you need to know how to not injure yourself on those movements. You probably need to know a bit about diet and then you're good to go. So the fundamental basic movements that everyone should be doing if they want to build strength and muscle is bench press, deadlifting, pull-ups and squats. That's pretty much it. For the most part, they're the things that are going to build the most muscle and the most strength. So if you focus on those and you make sure that you're not setting yourself up for injury by doing the movements incorrectly and you can learn how to do the movements correctly with three or four or five YouTube videos, that's pretty much the fitness aspect down. And now you need to know a little bit about diet. Basically, you need to be eating enough calories, you need to have your macros in check and you have to have your micros in check and then you're good to go. And that's, uh, once again, a couple of videos and I will go into that in the future for those of you that want to know but for now you need to learn a handful of things you could do this in an afternoon and then using those few things become far fitter than the vast majority of people who don't act and are constantly in this perpetual circle this perpetual cycle of learning so just grab a few things that you need to know the things that are most effective the things that will most rapidly bring you success and then act right so this is what happens when we become discerning what do you specifically want what do in what way do you want to act what are you looking to get and then seek out the people that have been where you have been and avoid the mistakes that they've made and only look at the things that have got them the most success and focus on those and then as we go we can add things okay so let's say you've been doing that for a little while you understand how to lift right and you're gaining muscle you're gaining strength and now you want to gain a bit more or you want to add some movements to your repertoire now you can start looking at some new movements but only if you're going to add them in right so look at some more high quality effective efficient movements that you can add to your routine that will continue to bring you the success that you want to get and then you're continuing to act so don't put so much value on learning acting is where it's at and we'll actually often find more success from just acting than from just learning right even though we may stumble we may make mistakes but we will learn as we go just through osmosis and just through trial and error ideally though we don't want to continually fuck up and make mistakes so acting without any knowledge is not ideal but it's certainly better than just learning right but ultimately what we really want is to have these two in symbiosis to learn and then act, to learn and then act. Learn as little as you need to, to successfully act. And you'll have a healthier, happier, more contentful life. If this video has been of value for you, if you'd enjoyed it, then please like, subscribe, share, and comment below and letting me know what your next project is, what things you're gonna act on, and what things you're gonna apply the knowledge that you're gathering to. Until next time, peace.